Alright, just a quick review on the Chinese TF12D. This is the version without the drinking tube, and as you can see, it is a Chinese copy. Uh, I mean, pretty much a copy of the Avon FN53. They are very similar in shape and size. They have the same hood stop flip thing. Generally same shape. I'll get that out of the way. Uh, it only comes in one size, but it seems to fit me quite well. So it seems to be on par with a FM12 size medium. <clears throat> so let's get on with the features of the mask. It has a diaphragm that you can see there. It's alright, not the best diaphragm. There is a lot of dead space in here. Apparently it's intended to some at some point have a uh, VPU attachment. Um, there's an XL valve on in there. It's slightly canted off to the side, meant for... There's another hole here meant for the drinking tube system. Um, my version does not have the drinking tube. So there's a little thing for it. Uh, here is the blocked off port. Uses tool to unscrew. Here is the uh, harness, the mesh harness. It's one of the nicer new Chinese style ones. Uh, as you can see, there is a conformal filter here. Uh, that's the one that came with it. Just a moment. I also have this uh, P3 equipment for it. It's conformal. So, much like the Avon ones. There we go. Uh, it is goth threaded. There we go. I actually... There we go. But it will take NATO filters quite well. Um, if you try and wear this without a filter, something very strange happens. The diaphragm seems to make a clicking sound. It also happens when the filter isn't screwed in properly. Uh, the eye lenses are quite large. They give you a good field of view. Uh, they will take M40 outserts if you want to put them on for whatever reason. Just a quick look at the inside of the mask, you can see the diaphragm there. It's got a very thick oral nasal cup, very sturdy. Uh, the XL valve somewhere down there. Uh, it's got valves, seated valves in there. It's hard to see. But yeah, they're in there. One on each side. The lenses are clamped in on both sides. Uh, this is a prototype, so it's not fully finished, as it doesn't have other sizes, it doesn't have any sort of insert system on it yet. There we go, I'll quickly put it on and speak with it. Let's make sure the filter's on properly first. Yep, there we go. Now this is a voice diaphragm, it's not the best, but it's pretty good. It actually has one, yeah, it actually has one, unlike the FM53. Uh, it's quite easy to breathe through, don't know what else to really say about it. It's comfy, although the nose cup does press on my nose a little more than I'd want. And the conformal filter is actually a little hard to breathe through. Oh. But that's not the mask's fault, I've tried it, tried it with western filters and all that, that's just the filter being a bit dense. Overall, a decent mask, high quality. It's got a three layer mesh harness. You can see, yeah, simple plastic straps that are normally quite easy to, yeah, tighten and loosen. They're quite thick, they're very high quality. Don't imagine them breaking on you anytime soon. But there we go. The uh, TF12D prototype. Pretty decent. China's masks are getting better. In fact, better than many of Eastern Europe's masks, I might say. So, there we go.